Hello, welcome back to Daniel Stark World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. So someone was asking me the other day, how do I make uh, custom barcodes in Homebox Inventory Manager? So when you create a um, asset or location or actually also a label in Homebox, you get a QR code automatically generated, which is very uh, useful. QR codes are great. Uh, this one, for example, is to this asset, that, which is a uh, Zigbee controller. And the easiest way to do this is either just print these QR codes one by one, or you can use the label printer here, uh, which allows you to generate labels in batches. And uh, this is fine if you have one of those kind of like inkjet printers, but if you're looking to use uh, something like an actual standalone label printer, uh, that would be more helpful. I'm going to do a video uh, soon about how you can access um, Homebox remotely. Well, I did one already, but explaining um, how you can access the labels when you're not on your local network. The answer I found is something called creating a subnet route in uh, Tailscale, uh, but that's another day's topic. So uh, let's just uh, today create a uh, non-QR code or just a custom label really for this Zigbee controller. So all you need is the URL, right? Because this system works on URLs and uh, this URL will will link to this uh, page in the system, right? So uh, firstly, I've just grabbed that onto my uh, clipboard and now what I'm using is a P-Touch editor. There's a lot of different label printing softwares on the market. You can also generate codes on the internet. Uh, but this is P-Touch and it allows you to create barcodes according to a bunch of different symbologies, which is the weird weird word for barcode types, essentially. <clears throat> so let's say I want to use, so I've actually had a lot of success with data matrix. I find it scans a bit better than QR. So I'm just uh, pasting the URL of the asset <clears throat> into the barcode properties box. I'm clicking on OK, and that is pretty much it. Uh, so this one has an asset ID of 001942. So a little trick I like to do is record the asset ID on my labels just in case they don't scan. And this doesn't need to be a one by one process. I can just print this as a standalone label very easily through my label printer. I'm using the QL700, but if you wanna do batches, you can export your inventory and you can actually connect this in P-Touch to a spreadsheet and it'll create them in batches and print them. Um, you can also do uh, really loads of different types. For the ones that work for URL are data matrix. You can do QR codes here, although I don't know why you'd want to do that and not do them in uh, the system. I can just paste the another option that you have to state the obvious, but just to show it, is if you want to tinker with the format, you can just paste, I'm just gonna actually paste the uh, QR code directly from the system into my label editor. And, you know, you can just kind of design your own labels. Like uh, sometimes I like to put the thing here, the asset ID, and uh, you might want to also write down what it is. I think this is, what do we say, a Zigbee switch, Zigbee, you know, and uh, you can get uh, different ones like that. The final type, just to really kind of go through all the types that you can create from a URL would be a PDF well, there's actually a few more. There's Aztec code, um, Maxi code, and PDF 417. Uh, PDF 417 is quite popular in inventory. So let me just show you one of those. So this is a PDF 417 code. It relates to the uh, asset page in Homebox. And again, if you, you can just print it as it is, or you can add different elements around it to design it. And um, you might prefer to use these. It also means that you can create them in custom sizes. Uh, so this is a six centimeter label and you definitely have more uh, functionality, I guess, if you are printing your own barcodes versus just doing that through the system. But of course, either setup will work just fine. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And until the next video.